what is up guys yes <laughs> uh, what is up guys all right guys today we are going to be learning something really awesome um here's what's really interesting um this whole thing has come full circle i have been an entrepreneur for seven years online with my wife um and we actually started literally seven years ago when i was working at a job i was going to work i remember me and my wife sitting there eating sushi talking about how we can literally like how do we make money with this how do i like how, how what is the recipe how do we make money on etsy and i remember my wife was she was making birthday invitations she was making wedding invitations she was making these little cute little designs and I remember there was, here's the thing, there is what, one thing that we're going to learn about this, about something highlighting, um, is there was one special thing. She used to make these thank you cards, right, for the birthday invitations. And as soon as somebody would buy one of those thank you cards, um, literally instantly, money would be deposited into our account. And there was no, like, fulfillment. We wouldn't have to, like, type up an order. We wouldn't have to handle customer service. It was like, here is your digital file. And so... It is now come full circle where I, I remember the only holdup was how fast can we create this digital art? How fast can we make, how can, fast can we create listings? How fast can we sell this stuff? How fast can we get it online? And so here's the thing. Um, it has been seven years and I believe that we finally have a tool, just a, that could, one way that this can be leveraged. And I believe it could be leveraged by selling AI art on Etsy and by connecting to something called print on demand. And if that sounds like a lot, believe me, we are going to be connecting a lot of technology tonight. It's not going to be hard. I'm going to try making it like as simple as it possible. Literally, I'm imagining right now my mom or my grandma or my, my friend's grandma is like, who is this crazy guy on here like with this level 20 energy trying to teach me how to make money on Etsy? Like this is something that Etsy is something that's handmade. My grandma knits like stuff and she sells it at like a like a like a little like swap meat farm you know like thing but th here's the thing we are going to make it where you are going to be dominating etsy you guys are you guys pumped i'm talking like they're not even gonna know a hit of these grandmas got nothing on us <laughs> all right who is ready are you guys watching it live we got some people talent in the house um we got chris what is up guys let me know who is showing up? We got Jake in the house. Heck yeah. All right, guys, this is going to be pumped. Um, I'm excited. AI, we're going to be using a couple tools. Can you guys say um, three tools? Three tools to change your life is the goal tonight, right? And that might be a big claim, right? Because like, who, sh who shows up at 9 o'clock, 7.30 at night uh, trying to make some big claims with three tools could change your life? But I believe, I believe that this is true. Okay, so here's the thing. Um, if you guys are watching, say three tools. All right, literally my favorite plan for AI is to build unlimited products that don't need inventory. Do you see this? Literally my favorite plan for the AI is to build unlimited products that don't need inventory. Jake, that is what we are going to do tonight. We are going to make it where we have an art house in staff. We are going to staff AI to make our art. We are going to staff AI to write our products. We are going to staff AI to create our listings. And then guess what? We are going to use product like a print on demand shop to literally handle all our orders. We are not going to touch the product. We are not going to, we are not going to do anything. We are going to do it the lazy way. I'm talking like I'm chilling in my pajamas. We are hanging out. This is something that you can do from your house. Just focus. And I believe if you just do this one little loop, right? If you want to spam anywhere, spam a marketplace like amazing, like Etsy, right? And that's what we're going to do. We are literally going to blow up these marketplaces with amazing, amazing content that you are creating that you could put on t-shirts, you could put on cups, you could put on like, you guys have been seeing me hang up some pictures. Um, you guys have been seeing me hang up like some cool stuff, right? Like I literally been ordering this stuff it's been amazing. I got some stuff printed on metal, metal. It's on metal. It's like literally on metal, like a street sign metal. All right. So we got Jake saying amazing. I uh, love it. I love it too. Great work, bro. Tim in the house. And we got William from Michigan. That's what I'm talking about. All right, guys, are you guys getting ready to start it? 
who is ready to start it, drop some fire, share this video, tag your grandma, tag your mom, make it happen. Let's go. I'm going to share my screen. We are diving in. Okay. We are going to use three tools. Don't forget. All right. Three tools. The very first one we all have to do. Follow along with me. Follow along with me, everybody. We are going to go to Etsy.com. All right, that's simple enough. All right, you guys are here. You guys shopped here. Etsy.com. It's not fancy. It's beautiful. It's a handmade shop, but we are going to, we are going to rock this thing. All right, so look at these beautiful, look at these beautiful prints. All right, let's just look at this. Let's just look at, examine this. This is Etsy.com. It kind of already personalized my stuff. It has digital art. We have 11 by 14 print. Um, we have 10 by you know, eight by 10 print. We have, we have everything here. Okay. But look, if we just click on this one right here, right, we can see that this is some more, this is art, right? We can see this is, this is art, right? This is, this is art, right? So let's check out this. Right? So, um, I'm going to share my whole screen. Yeah. I'm going to have to share my whole screen. So I'm going to pause this, uh, pause this. All right. We're going to remove and we're going to share. All right. Look at a whole bunch of fire. All right. That's what's up. All right. Share the whole screen and Boom, uh, stop screen, share, share. And we are going to share this whole thing, entire screen. It might be a little, I have a lot of stuff going on in my screen, but that's all right. All right, I'm going to make this bigger. All right, so here we go. So we have we have Etsy. And this is Etsy.com. And you can see these are some digital art. And if we click on these, you can see this is an instant download. Do you guys see this? Set of two, this is two art pieces. Let's break this down. All right, Dan, let's, let's go from the top. His name is Dan Hobb Day Art. All right, we'll check out his store in a second. He's a star seller. He has, he has this is just one of them that we clicked, the first one. This guy has 33,000 sales, 33,388 sales, five-star rating. And this guy is selling a set of two prints, neutral art, abstract wall art, instant download. <clears throat> okay, so instant download. So it says highlight, digital download, file type, four JPEGs. Okay. <laughs> this person is selling JPEGs. All right, some of you guys have been following me since the NFT days and you guys are like, man, I want to sell JPEGs, right? But here's the thing is, this is literally JPEGs being sold right in front of you, but it's art. Right, so like, imagine if you could instantly generate art. You see this? Look, this is the art, right? Like, this is, this is the art. Each one of these is art. Okay, so this is abstract prints, minimal wall art, printable abstract. Awesome. Okay, so now here's here we go. We can scroll down. Everyone is saying, "I love these. Beautiful. I had them printed on a canvas. I love it." And look, people are actually using this. Right. So, this is. So can we recreate this, right? Look at this, 33,000 sales. Let's check if this guy has any other ones. Look at this guy, <laughs> Dan Hobdar. I didn't even mean to click, I, like this is just a random one random guy. Look, printable collection, printable abstract art prints. That's all this guy does. Congratulations, Dan, you're doing amazing, man. And look, abstract art print, large landscape print. Look at this, two sets, neutral print. All right. I like this. I'm digging this. I like the style. I like the colors. So check what I want to do. I'm going to copy image address. And now this is the first tool. All right. So Etsy, first thing you guys need to do, you guys need to get an Etsy store set up. Super easy guys. Google search how to get an Etsy store set up. Don't even Google search it. Just go to Etsy, sign up for an account. And then literally it says start selling. And then you start selling, set up your whole thing. It's super fast. I'm not even going to waste your time going through that to set it up. All right, now that's tool number one. All right, so tool number one, done. Are you guys tracking? Say, I will tonight, before I go to bed, in the comments, I will set up my Etsy store. All right, say it. Say it. I dare you. All right, promise everybody right in front of publicly. All right, this is for you. You look, everyone can see what you're saying. All right, who's going to do it? Who's going to watch this for entertainment and be like, I'm just here to hang out with Jeff? And who's actually going to take action? All right, because here's the thing. That's who I want to see. I want to see who's actually taking action. Let's see it. Let's see who's going to take action. 
I, Jake. All right, Jake, let's go, man. I will set up my Etsy store tonight. All right, that's what I'm saying, Jake. We got William in the house. Send his Etsy store up. All right, guys. All right, this is amazing. All right, so now step two. That's that's tool number one. Tool number two. All right. If you guys go to this is the this is the thing that I've been working on um, literally like the last four or five weeks, right? I've I'm not a coder. I'm a what's something called no code, right? So all I did was I leverage other people's really smart technology and I just make a really fancy dashboard for it. And I try not to make it fancy. I try to make it easy enough for my mom to use. All right, that is the goal. All right, and so here's the website. It's called myaiteam.com. Um, let's, let's see. All right, I just added. There's there's three things. All right, so we'll talk about it. Myaiteam.com. Literally a three day trial. You can try it out. After that, it's 111 dollars a month. Super chill. Super easy. Unlimited content. We're talking work, words and work. art. Okay, words and art. What else do you need? You need music and video. I'm working on it. Chill. We're four weeks in. Chill out. Like, get off me. All right. So we got we got words and art, unlimited everything, $111. Like, come on. Could you guys make money with this? All right. So now the next step. All right. We go to, over to AI images. All right. Left-hand side, we signed up for the art. We signed up for everything. Now, check out this. I've been testing this. Look, I got some abstract art in here. I literally was tested. Like, can I make abstract art? Can I really do this? All right. So let's see. All right, so here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put the reference in. You guys see what I did? All right, so here's what I did. I, I probably went really fast. You're gonna come to the screen and you're gonna see this and this is gonna look like this, right? I'm just gonna refresh. All right, cause this, this, we'll, we'll a little, I'm a little excited cause this is my face. Welcome human. Are you a human? Welcome human. All right, we're leveraging the AI. On the left-hand side, you'll see it says AI images. On the left-hand side, we're gonna click AI images. And from here, this is our dashboard. This is where we're going to be creating our AI art. We are, it's, it's something called a prompter, right? We are creating prompts to make, take words and make art with them. I believe this is a new type of artist. And some of you guys might be like, well, I'm not like super like technical or I'm super technical or I have the ability to like do things, but I don't know how to like create the art. Most likely I'm going to hire somebody, right? Well, this is hiring AI to do your art, All right. So now check out this. Over here, it says your prompt. You have your input. Over here, it says modifiers. This is a picture, right? Ignore this. And then it has your images. Now, click. I'm going to click this where it says modifiers, all right? And over here on Etsy, right, we have this beautiful, like, abstract art, right? Or where, where's this other one? Don't we want to go? We want to get a where's, a, where's that guy? Where do you go? All right, we'll, we'll just use this one. This is like a neutral paint abstract art. Right, so, um, <clears throat> okay, so look, this is this is abstract art with a little like forest down at the bottom, okay? So what we're gonna say, we're gonna say forest, abstract, abstract. Oh, see, this abstract, abstract art, okay. All right, now, so now you see right here, that's my prompt. And then down here at the modifier and it says reference URL, I wanna reference these colors. I wanna reference this style, right? So I copied it, I right clicked it. See where it says right click? And I copied image address, okay? And look, now it's basically telling it, hey, use this as like the colors, use this as the inspiration, right? And that's what it's gonna do. All right, and so from there, I could set all these other stuff, but I'm just gonna keep it simple, right? And from there, um, we could set the width, we could set the height. Here's the thing, I could even reference this, right? This is a 24 by 6, 36 print, right? So for me, that means it's like a the width is, the height is gonna be a little bit higher, okay? And I'm gonna hit create image. All right, and here's the thing, some people will create one image and they'll watch this thing spin. I'm not that type of person. You have unlimited credits. We're not playing. Hit this thing like three or four times, right? Press this thing and see if you could get some art generated, right? And then see where you're at. And here's the thing. I've added these modifiers. We have median, so you could pick out your certain art styles. You have cameras, so you could pick out certain camera styles. You have your lighting. You could get really detailed with this. These are just prompts for you to be able to adjust how you want to produce it. However, it also understands pretty well sometimes some cool art pieces. All right, so check out this. That's art. Look at that. That's a 
actually a really cool piece of art. I actually really like this piece. All right, so we have we have this piece right here, which is a really, I mean, that's abstract art. Do you guys agree? Do you guys agree that this is abstract art? And as far as abstract art goes, this is abstract art also, right? So here's the thing. I'm going to hit refine and scale. All right, and this is basically, this little button is download. So I could literally download this. All right, so now we have the regular image. But if I hit refine and scale, it's actually going to get us a really high quality, ridiculously high quality HD print, right? So check out this. It takes about 30 seconds, right? And then this button will like go away. And it says open HD image. And then we can also download this, but check out this. Look at this print. You see this? We have a print, <laughs> right? So we have a beautiful image. So now I can download this. And now I have this beautiful image. And also we have another one. I can refine and scale and just like this person that offered two of them, I could also offer a pack of two or I could offer one, right? So now here's the thing. Now we could jump over to Etsy and babe, can you get the dogs? <laughs> we got some loud dogs. Uh, <laughs> um, all right, so now we have digital prints. All right, so are you guys tracking that? So now we have the ability inside Etsy to upload a product that's a digital download, instant download. Does it make sense? Are you guys following this up until this part? Does that make sense? Boom. All right, we got Callen. My store's already registered. Need to finish products. Let's go, Callen. All right, um, I've been doing print-on-demand shirts on Etsy for the last month. Got one sale, but this looks way more badass. Let's go, Cade. <laughs> yeah. All right, you guys. Have, you guys understand? All right, so we got first one. Jake has just finished creating his store. That's what I'm talking about, Jake. Way to take some action. All right, guys. Have you – do you guys understand the digital product side? Do you guys see how you guys can create digital art and allow people to right now print digitally? Right? So think about this. You can now create instant, instant – like – Every single time somebody downloads this product, right? Let's just say we sold this for half. That's nine, 10 per image. We literally just created a thing, right? So here's the thing. Okay, I'm, I'm actually gonna list the product. You guys want me to see the list the product really fast? I'm just gonna show you how fast it is to list this. Let's just say we wanted to sell this as a digital product instead of just talking about it. Pop over to the shop. We literally go to listing. Because here's the thing, this is where the other tool comes into place, right? This is where this is where the copywriting part takes comes in of the My AI tool. Remember how it's like a complete tool? You need three tools. What happens when you go to add a listing and then they say, well, what about the title, right? What about the photo, right? And so literally right here, I could say, right, it's this abstract piece. Here it is. We could have it where it uploads, um, where it uploads like, um, uh, like mock-ups. So here, if we go into this, I'm going to show you guys mock-ups in a bit. Um, but if, when we go into mock-ups, I'll show you this. Okay. So here we go. So now we have, we could reference this guy, right? So this guy has, he has his digital product, right? His digital art. Oops. I don't want to leave that one. All right. So set of two neutral print abstract wall art. Let's go back to this. Listing. And now we could sell this as a digital product, right? Etsy has it as a digital one, as one of the options. We can make it where it's a physical product, which I'm gonna show you guys how to set up in a second. But first we're gonna show you how to set up a digital product because I think digital products, when you get a digital product, the moment that product's delivered, it's sold, right? It's done. So you don't have to worry about like, literally they can go get printed on whatever they want, right? You know, they, if they want to get it printed on metal, like I did, they can get it printed on metal, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to put, we're going to put um, a forest, right? Forest abstract. Abstract. Digital art. Here's the thing. We could go over here to my AI and 
we could sometimes get the prompt. If you use a lot of prompts, you could use that to help craft your like your titles. Um, right. And so then it says who made this I did. What is it? A finished product. When did you make this? Literally just now. Uh, <laughs> all right. This is a digital product. Digital wall art. Digital wall print. Right. There we go. All right. And these are all optionals. But here's the thing. This is what's not optional. Right. You see where it's description. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to forest abstract digital art. And now we need a description, right? Description is like what's going to sell your customer to be able to actually want to buy this. So now we're going to go over to my AI team and we're going to go to content generator. And we are going to have it generate us the content that we need for, to make a listing, right? Like, because that's still a lot of typing. Like, come on, chill out with all that, right? So we're going to hit new document. And I'm going to put my little title up here. I'm going to save. And I'm going to scroll down on the left-hand side. And it's going to say product description, right? Enter your product, forest abstract digital art. And I'm just going to hit generate project product description. All right, so this stunning digital art is called Forest Abstract. It's a beautiful modern piece that captures natural beauty of the forest, the color shapes, and the artwork is actually the teeth. It's a great place. I love it. All right, so literally, that's perfect. I'm going to add this here and i'm going to go into frameworks and i'm going to scroll down and i want not only do that i want that but i also want product uh bullet points right i literally want it to give me some bullet points for this thing right so forest abstract digital art and now it's going to give us some bullet points so it actually gives us some like good like you know things all right Boom. All right. So this is digital artwork and the perfect way to add some natural beauty to your home decor. The muted colors are soft lines of forced abstract digital art create a serene and calming atmosphere. The piece is sure to be a starter conversation. Love it. Please nature enthuse. I love it. All right. I'm really loving it. Easy to hang and enjoy it. Easy to print. Easy to print and hang. All right. The piece would be a great gift. Abstract beauty and natural home. Done. Love it. Pop it over here into Etsy. Boom. Now we got we got actually like some, some context. You know what I mean? And so from there, who made it? Made by my AI team. Printful. I'm going to show you that. We're going to set it up later. And now you see where it says tags? This is how we actually get found on Etsy, right? So now we're going to copy this. We're going to go to frameworks and we're going to scroll down, right? I already thought about this, right? Check out this. All right. Now we got product keywords, right? I should make them say, literally say tags. Here's the thing. I'm going to generate this, like maybe like, I'm just going to see what it pops up, right? Force abstract art, abstract art, force na art, nature art, digital art, contemporary art, wall art, home decor, office gifts. Literally, these are all things that we can pop over here one at a time into, here's the thing. I like, I'm going to, I'm going to copy this whole little thing. And I'm just going to literally paste it right under this so I don't have to go back and forth. Okay. Enter. Or start. Enter. Come on, you guys. How fast can you do this? Is anyone faster than me right now? Is anyone beating me right now? Has anyone listed a digital product? All of these, have they wrote the title? Have you created your like pictures? Have you done all this faster than me? Is this a race? No, it's not. Just beat yourself. Then you, just like list more products than you listed yesterday. You know what I mean? Like just be like, try to like you. You know, get better every day. Come on. All right, here we go. All right, five left. Like this is like the last five push-ups. Like it feels like oh, I'm not even gonna list them all. Like it doesn't matter. But guess what? If you don't list your thing under gift ideas, like canvas print posters, like if you don't list it under some of these, you don't get found under some of these. So don't be lazy and do your like, do these, you know, literally gift ideas, home decor, office decor, wall decor, wall art, art prints. So I have that one. Yep. Yeah. All right. Now I'll delete this. Right. Hey, so look, we need a call to action, right? Like a last call to action, right? So I'll, I'll use this and I'll go over here. Frameworks, literally scroll down to call to action, wherever that is. 
Let's go. I should add a search. I'll add a search. If you guys have any reference, like, hey, like, can you add this? Sure. All right. For real, a search needs to happen. Call to action. All right. Into your product. <laughs> go buy. <laughs> go buy a digital 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 download. All right. Let's go. All right. Now it goes, well, why not take a walk on the wild side and check out our digital download for us abstract with the vibrant colors, nature, beauty, so to please anyone who loves outdoor. What do you think? Go buy the digital download today. I love it. Look at that call to action, baby. Uh, that's what I'm talking about. All right. Price. Um, definitely eleven twenty five. Fool. I ain't cheap. All right. This is a digital download. High five if anyone buys my digital download. I love you. All right. So now we have upload files. And we can now upload our abstract art. Okay. So here's the thing. It says file name must be that. Okay. Done. Okay. We will make it that. Okay. So I wonder if I need to zip this. Let me go to downloads. I'm going to zip compress and I'm going to rename um let's go forest forest all right I don't let's see hold on I think they have a a size limit so we might have to find a way to link that but we'll figure that out okay we renamed it. It can't be some weird name. All right. No spaces. All right. And it literally uploaded it for us. Okay. So as soon as they purchase it, they get this digital file. All right. We are waiting for that to upload. And let's see, we could come back and add like some, like some other photos that are better, you know, that like share, like show that like their mock-ups and all that stuff um, a little later when we actually have them, because we're going to make this where people can print on demand with this thing. All right. So we're, now we're going to publish. All right. It costs us 20 cents to publish this. All right. So we're in it for like $111 and 20 cents. All right. So look, forest in stock. All right. We need to set how many are in stock. There is no stock on digital products. Silly. Why would you, why would there be stock? 9 million, baby. All right. Publish. All right, so now we have a digital product. Forest abstract art back to listing. We literally have a product that literally anytime somebody buys it could forever be downloaded and bought forever. All right, now here's the thing. The next step, that's one tool. That's two tools. Are you guys ready for the third tool? Are you guys ready for the third tool? Because now we got to make it where you can actually print this, right? Okay, a tool I think you'll also join for a framework is auto listings, POD. Um, heck yeah, let's go. All right. Um, this is really smart. Let's go, Corey. All right. So I'm so excited to dig into this. That's what I'm talking about. All right. Are you guys ready? Whew. Are you guys ready for the third tool? This is the print on demand part. This is the most, this is the most fun. This is when art goes from digital products to physical products. I'm talking backpacks. I'm talking like, just check some stuff out. Are you guys ready? And we're going to make it super simple, super simple. Who's ready? Drop some fire. If you guys are ready, drop some fire. All right. I don't think you guys are ready. I think everyone fell asleep. Maybe it's just my mom watching. Oh, that's cool. Oh, oh my God. All right. If it's my mom watching, then I'm still going to go. I'm not going to stop. All right. We're going to go to the third tool. Here we go, guys. All right. We got Jake showing up. Jake in the house. All right. We're going to jump to the third tool. So the third tool, guys, is a tool called printful.com. Okay. And now here's the thing. In a few, I'm going to find an affiliate link. So I literally get paid off every time you guys click my freaking link. Um, but right now I don't get paid. So if you guys just go to printful.com, I don't get paid. But if you guys want to in the future, I'm going to have an affiliate link. Um, then I get paid a little small percentage every single time you guys look 10% every time you guys order. Like, come on. Like, that's like a million bucks. 
like we're all trying to make a million over here. Like, come on, that means I get 10% for every single time. Per that's ridiculous. All right, so we're trying to make money. That is the goal. You guys understand that's the goal to make money with this? All right, so don't be shy and click the link. All right, whenever I get it. All right, so the next stop, printful.com. Go to printful.com, get signed up. It is free to get signed up. And now here's what's really cool. Over in Printful, um, it says my Printful um, on the left-hand side. It says like homepage. There's, a, there's some cool stuff. All right, but one of the things on the left-hand side that you could do is says stores. All right, and with the stores, you can actually connect your Printful to Etsy or better, you can connect your Etsy to Printful, right? But really it's you're connecting your Printful to Etsy, which is really, really powerful because these guys, imagine if you had a print shop that could handle an, an enormous amount of stuff. I, I'm going to, I'm going to go to Printful.com, right? Printful, uh, Printful.com. And we're going to check out what they could actually do, right? So over here on this thing where it says product catalog, Check out what happens once we connect with Etsy, right? Once you actually get your little store connected, basically you're going to say like connect store. Um, let's, uh, let's go back right here. All right. You see right here where it says choose your platform. You're literally going to choose your platform. Once you're signed into your Etsy, you're going to connect to Etsy, right? You're just going to hit connect. Super simple. It's going to literally pop up a little window and it's going to connect right to your store. It's freaking magic. I don't know how they did it. I don't, I didn't do it. I, one day I wish I could be a coder like this, not even a coder. I just want to be able to make my stuff look as good when you highlight and make the button look this good. Like there's some good designs up in here, right? Like hats off to these guys. So, all right. So super easy to connect. All right. So now we're going to go to product catalog once you're connected with your store. And now here's, what's really cool. Check out what we could design. We could design a bucket hat. We could design gaming mouses, stainless steel tumblers, Glossy metal prints. I'm talking, these are prints, metal print, right? Gaming mouses, clothing, men's clothing, women's clothing. Um, we have jackets, full shirt, dip, like, like, like apparel. Um, I mean, full tie dye pants you could make, like, all over print swim trunks. You can literally upload any of the art that you get from my AI team, any of the art you could upload to Printful. Any of the art you could upload to Printful. Then it could go to your Etsy store. Then people could literally order print on demand without you ever touching it. That's what we're going to set up. All right. So are you guys excited? I mean, you guys are doing this from your house. You don't have an art team. You don't have a print shop. You don't have a marketplace that has millions of customers. Ah, come on. This is sweet. Okay, so we're just going to go to prints, right? So I'm going to search Printful, and I'm just going to type in Canvas. Hey, right, and check out this. We have canvases just for art that we could upload our art to, right? So, <laughs> do you see that? All right, so now I have this little button, right? It says, I'm gonna, I'm gonna add to store. It says, which store do we wanna add to? I'm gonna add it to my AI team, which is my store, and I'm gonna say Etsy. <sighs> this is so fun. Okay. Now we have the option for a vertical. We're going to set vertical. Um, and then we have, we can set all sizes, right? We're going to, we're, we're going to select all of them. You see this 24 by 36. Do you guys remember this guy? Right. Let's go back to this guy. Let's go by the, the one that we originally started 24 by 36. And look at where, what we're able to do. 24 by 36. Not only are we able to give people digital prints where they could instantly print it out or they could print it on whatever they want, we could actually be a canvas printing shop. So now I'm going to go to next steps and I'm going to upload my art. You guys like some of my other art? All right, I'm going to upload my art. Hope this isn't too hard for you guys. A beautiful forest. Abstract forest. I don't even know how... Some doctor's gonna buy this. 
All right. So design for each project uh, product will be adjusted separately. Sweet. All right. So here's the thing. This is literally putting these canvases on every single size. We could adjust this. This is literally like us. I like that. It, you know, like I like that it kind of fades off. I like that. I like that this one's a little bit longer. But let's bring it down. All right, so we're just literally adjusting these. Make this a little bit bigger. Scale it. Make sure it's all the way on the print. Look at this. This is a 24 by 36. Ah, it's and look, and it's good DPI. Look at this, look at this quality. Amazing quality. All right. So we are done there. Now we could, I mean, you could literally from right here, you could add text. You could do everything. Look at this 3D view. Check out this. Now we have a 3D view. Oh, we're getting way too excited. And now we have mock-ups. All right, so this is where we're going to start going into mock-ups. Now, here's the thing. Sometimes you think you have to right-click, save all this, right? We totally aren't going to have to do this. Look, this is our wall art. This is freaking beautiful. All right, so I'm just going to click proceed to mock-ups. All right, got it. Whatever that said, proceed to mock-ups. All right. And this says custom mockups. I'm just going to hit basic mockups. Lifestyle, lifestyle. Here's some lifestyle. Look at this. This is like office. I kind of like the way this looks. You know what I mean? Like, look at that. Uh, person holding it, product detail mockups, proceed to details. All right. Now we're back at this canvas, the product title. All right. So check out this. We literally can pop back over here and we can force abstract art content generator, and we can actually write the description right inside this. And it's a whole different description. It's not the same description. The, the digital one, it doesn't have to be the same as the physical print one, you know? And so it's pretty, and here's the thing is Etsy, it's going to categorize those in different categories. So it searches them. Yes, you, yes, they're going to pop up somewhere in the same categories, but they're also going to pop up literally in like their own complete categories. All right, so we're going to hit to content generator. My AI team, let's go. Let's see. Why you no load? All right. Oh, there you go. Okay. Just lagging a little bit. All right. So look, we can literally start from the, the forest abstract digital art, but I'm going to create a brand new one, right? I'm going to say forest abstract, right? Canvas art. Right. And now I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to save product description. So this is, we have here, we're going to make sure this says forest, abstract canvas art. All right. This beautiful abstract capture the serenity of the forest, perfect addition to nature, perfect, soft, calming, serene, uh, beautiful. Pop back over here. I have a lot of tabs, but it's all right. All right. Some of these are cool, right? but I don't want any of this. The lame, that's their little default one. It's not lame, it's, it's their default. Thank, thank you for providing, providing that. All right, now we're gonna pop over here, grab your, grab your bullet points. Perfect, Amber, whoever lives a forest, muted colors, peace, conversation, Awesome, awesome, awesome. I love it. 
Looks good to me. Is it there? Um, add info about on-demand manufacturing. Uh, you, no, you don't have to. Add size guide as an image. Sure. All right. Tags. Boom. Abstract canvas art. Same thing. We're going to grab our tags. Product keywords. Paste in here. Don't be lazy on the tags. I'm telling you, this is how you get found is the tags. All right, please do not get lazy on the tags. All right, look, we got affordable art. We got all this stuff, right? All right, so now we pop over here. This, the difference people that, that get found and the people that don't are the tags, all right? So I'm telling you, don't skimp out on the tags. All right, Forest Abstract Canvas Art added. Um, okay, separate with a comma. So let's paste this whole thing. All right, we can jump over it and when it like, we're gonna paste this into Etsy and edit it when it's over there. All right, so we're gonna proceed to pricing. Okay, now here's the thing. This is where you set your pricing um, for how much you're actually gonna get paid. This is the spread. Okay, so you have a cost of goods and you have the cost, like you have the cost of the actual print and then that, how much are you gonna make? Right. So you have revenue. Right. So you can literally set your revenue. Right. You don't have to be cheap. Right. So like literally this is like a freaking printed product. Right. So like make mark it up, man. Like don't be shy. Like this is art. You know what I mean? Like there's nothing wrong with being a little like, you know, a little bit of like there's a saying if you if you can't be the most like the cheapest, you might as well be the most expensive. Right. And art is a piece that people like they appreciate. Right. So this is 150% markup, right? I mean, you're getting a 24 by 36. I don't even think that's like a, a bad spread, all right? Like, I'm going to say 250% mar markup on printed art is not a bad bad deal, you know, because you're literally not like, that's, you're going to hang it on your art, like, wall. And really, I think that's, that's still like a pretty swell piece, right? Like 24 by 36 is a huge piece, right? So like, you're not talking about a little tiny piece, right? So like 400 bucks for that piece is not, uh, that's that's pretty reasonable. I could see a doctor paying that. So I'm gonna hit submit to store, okay? So look, adding new product to store. Now check out this, they're gonna do their magic. They're gonna write, the, they're gonna put all this stuff that we just did over there and they're also going to sync the two they're they're going to connect the two right so they're literally going to say they're uploading the products and i'm going to show you see now where it says edit in etsy check out this guys boom this should be mind-blowing you guys should be like my mind is blown right now right now check out this remember how we had to do all those mock-ups look at this look at these mock-ups literally mock-ups right here mock-up mock-up beautiful like matches the decor like I'm not even a photographer like this. Now we can scroll down. Um, literally, we can start to say, you know, like all the stuff, digital product, made it order, digital prints. Uh, this is not a digital print. Uh, wait, actually, I'm not even going to edit this. I'm just going to keep it how it is. Room. Um, this could be literally anything, you know, office would be great for that. Bathroom, bedroom, entryway, done. This is definitely, uh, what is this? Um I'm going to call it family. What is this? Abstract. Is there a one for that? So abstract. There you go. Very top. All right. Renew object, automatic, physical, gave us all our stuff. I'm going to paste those keywords, right? I had them pasted still, right? Because we need to list the actual tags, right? So don't be lazy on that, right? Sometimes it doesn't work. You got to, you got to make it work. Forest abstract, add canvas art. Paste, abstract canvas art, paste, canvas wall art, paste, wall art, paste. These are literally listing our products under every single one of these that when people type it, right? Modern art, I didn't know it was about modern art, contemporary art, let's go. So here's one of the things, what I'll do, I'll make it where you can write a description from these keywords inside AI. I think that would really help. All right, we got four left. Do your push-ups. 
fine art print. Where do we live? Fine art print, wall decor. Uh, wall decor. Look, I'm going to list it under affordable. Affordable art, original art. Uh, get rid of all these. I am. Make a call to action. You should always make a call to action also, I believe. Over here, it does add a difference, I'm telling you. Um, because people, is, you know, they're going to read it. They're humans, you know what I mean? So call to action, enter your product, buy this wall art. <laughs> buy this wall art is the best place to buy. Oh, my God. Forest, that, that's... That's a really lazy one, man. Come on, give me some better ones. Creative level, turn it up, baby. All right, let's go back. Call to action. Buy this. There you go. Buy this forest wall. All right, straight up. Buy it. Buy it. All right, we're just going to tell them to buy it at the end. Buy this. Hey. <laughs> All right, we're going to add both of these. Check them, check them, baby. Uh, materials is going to be canvas. Canvas. Uh, I'll make it maybe other, another material maker thing. I think that would help. Uh, skew, price. It already set up our prices. Look. All of our pricing is in here. You see that? All of our pricing. All of our stuff is handled. It handles our, our, our shipping costs. Everything is in here. Like, we're not even doing any of this. You know what I mean? Like, all of the shipping is done. All of that setting up, that whole shipping part is all done. This is easier to set up printful products that are shipped print on demand than it is digital products. Ah, so look, now we hit publish. Oh, fill out all the things required. What's what's giving us the error? Let's try hitting publish again. And it worked. 20 cents. 20 cents. View your listing. Ladies and gentlemen, we have forest abstract canvas art that can be purchased for sale. All right. Now I have a question. What happens when you get a sale? Well, this is where it gets really exciting is when you get a sale, um, literally inside here, you can see um, inside your Etsy store, it's, you're going to get a notification. You're going to get an order like, hey, you got a sale. Um, congratulations, right? I got an order earlier. I tested it. I made my first sale. Congratulations. Pat yourself on the back. Test it yourself. Um, order your wife something, order your daughter something, or your kids or your son or who are your grandma something. Print on demand, like literally make this a gift at your first one. Um, and then tag me, whoever, like, you know, and say, hey, I ordered it, you know, what's up? All right. And then here's the thing it sends it over here and then it goes into your orders, right? And so now, as you see, you see this waiting for fulfillment. I tested three hours ago, I tested this. Right. And literally the order came over three hours ago from Jeff Caldwell waiting for fulfillment. Did you see that? So it calculates the spread. It connects to our store and it prints it. And then it will deliver this to our, our, to our person, to whoever ordered it. Now check this out. This is where, it, this is even better than you. Like, you know what I mean? Like you could get this set up tonight. Some of you guys are going to, I hope you go and get coffee and stay up extra late tonight and set up everything, right? So now check out this. You see the settings? What happens when it arrives at their door? You got to imagine for the customer. I just ordered it off Etsy. The order gift comes in here. It's I'm excited. I'm going to get my art, right? I'm going to get my thing right now. What does it look like when it shows up? On the left-hand side, you're going to see it says my account, um, but it says branding, right? So on the left-hand side, make sure you click branding. Right. So you're going to click settings and then branding. This is really important. Right. Because you imagine what happens when your customer gets it. You don't want it to be says like printful. Right. You want it to say your branding business, your company, you're like everything that you create. Right. So now check out this. Literally, you could brand the packing slip that gets put in there. You could put a black and white logo on the packing slip. You could put a personalized message. Thank you for the support. Art created by AI. You could put whatever you message on yours. Right. If 
I'm going to put, if you, right, because check out this, I'm going to be, every single time somebody buys some product, I'm going to be like selling my, my AI software. If you want to try out making AI art, also go to myaiteam.com for a free three-day trial. Right, so check out this. If you guys want to put your affiliate link in there, you can do that too, right? Check out this. You guys know what an affiliate link is? That's a way, another way you can make money. That's what that is, all right? On the left-hand side, you're going to see it says affiliate, right? Affiliate is whenever somebody clicks on your link online. You see on the way it says left-hand side? Um, okay, so it says homepage. Uh, what is this? I'm going to set password. All right. All right. Uh, what? Okay, give me some. Give me some information. All right, so you see right here, this literally says software demo. I could copy this link and I can send people to this and they could literally go here and it will track my link. So I'm gonna make sure you have the right one. But look, it just sent it to my AI team. You guys see this? Whoever goes here, they could literally see how to create like through your link. So whenever somebody clicks your link, that that's gonna get paid 33%, right? So, so not only do you get paid for the, the first tool, which is Etsy, uh, you get paid for the second tool, which is my AI team to create the art. And you get paid, if you sign up for Printful, you get paid from them, but also they have an affiliate program. So if your homie wants to make something, send them your link, right? Free three-day trial, right? Three-day trial. Thank you, Grammarly, for helping me. I'm gonna hit save. Right now, so, so, now check out this, save. I could also do ordering tracking page. You could create a custom page. You could add all your social medias. I've kind of been lazy and hasn't set up all of these. You should not be lazy and set up all of them. I highly encourage you to, right? And then check out this. Also, also you can set up, um, where is this? It's called um, orders shipping. Let's see. I think it's shipping. Orders, orders, let's see. There's one area that you're able to actually set up, you're able to set up your actual, like what it looks like, you know what I mean? Like your actual, like um, there's like some thank you cards you could get, you know? Um, you can actually set up some really cool things. Okay, branding on the left-hand side. I think this is where it is. Check out this, check out this, right? So you can do custom order tracking page. You can do packing slip customization, custom branding and packaging. Right, so literally the packaging that gets sent out, you could literally add a custom unboxing experience. Add custom branding packaging with these guys. Like inside this, right? So upload this. I'm gonna upload my little my my little thing. I'm gonna upload it because I want to see what it looks like. Right, so my AI team, AI team. I'm gonna set this up. Put my logo on there. Pow, fool. Right in the kisser. Uh, come on. My computer. Uh, I guess we're doing a lot of things, so I guess it should be slow. It's all right. We'll take our time. I do have a pep up. <laughs> title. <laughs> title, logo. Nailed it. Bubble mailer. That's going to be for all of them. All right. All right, so let's see. These are storage dimensions. Okay, we might have to set this up later, but this is this is how you do it. I think this is our warehouse. Okay, so as you get bigger, you could set up warehouse stuff. That is super cool. All right, we're gonna go to back to branding because I wanna set up all of these things you could set up. You know what I mean? You could set up package inserts, everything. This is really cool. So I can't wait to see what you guys create. Hopefully you guys connected everything. Do you guys have any questions for me? Questions for me. Questions for Jeff. Questions for Jeff. Who got questions? All right. Get your links tonight. Let's go, Tony. All right. All right. All right. This is really smart. That's what I'm talking about, Corey. Um, okay. Oh, my God. Take my money. All right, guys. My AI team is only $111. Unlimited text. Unlimited Um images unlimited like unlimited hit me up for tech support if you guys need whatever you need just whatever you need um all right so yes get me started on my AI team go to myateam.com 
there's pricing on there. Um, just take action. If you have questions because it doesn't work and it doesn't take your money, well, then message me and I'll help take your money. <laughs> oh, I love you guys. Um, it's Travis. Call you in a sec, my guy. Word up, word up. Can't wait to talk to you, Travis. Um, uh, it's about to be dinner time, so I'm probably going to be eating. But uh, talk soon, hopefully. Um, indeed. But definitely talk to you soon, Travis. And um, I love you guys. Heck yeah. Talk soon. Bye, guys.